Hi. Um, I have Rebecca here for her interview. Oh, thanks, Matt. Hey, has anyone ever told you that um, I'm pretty sure you're Adrian Grenier? If I was Adrian Grenier, why would I be working here? To f fall in love. Rebecca. Welcome, this is Michelle. Hi, Rebecca. Welcome to Spark. Grab a ball. Thanks so much for having me today. Oh, our pleasure. Can I get you something to drink or? No, thank you. Those are some fascinating algorithms back there. Oh, those? Yeah, just something one of our scientists doodled for fun. Let's get started. Tell me something that defined you. I would say my time on the college lacrosse team really defined me. It taught me hard work, dedication, and the ability to push past discomfort in order to reach a goal. That's great. Can you give me an example? Sure. For example, I'm pushing past the discomfort of the area on and around my butthole right now. Would you mind going to a little more detail? I would really like to itch the area around my butthole. It would make me feel a lot better, but I'm not going to because if I did, it would probably turn you off to me as a candidate. So I'm pushing past the discomfort in order to reach my goal, which is to be an employee here at Spark. Your honesty is refreshing, but I'm not here to judge your winker. I'm here to judge your fit at this company. So could you give me three of your weaknesses? My first weakness is that I work too hard. My second weakness is that I'm a perfectionist. And my third weakness is that because I work too hard and I'm a perfectionist, I have trouble delegating responsibility, but it's something that I'm really working on. Can you give me an example of that? The other day, I delegated responsibility to my roommate to buy toilet paper, which I think may have been a bad idea because I don't think she got the toilet paper for sensitive skin, which I believe to be the reason for the severe rash on and around my a-hole. I'm a little concerned here, Rebecca. Because I keep talking about my itchy hole. It's the fact that it's your only example. It's on my mind quite a lot. I can totally understand that, but here at Spark, we need you to be able to do a variety of things at once, you know, multitask. And I'm afraid if you come across a problem at work that is as serious as a brown eyed girl is right now, you're not going to be able to do anything else. I assure you I can't. For instance, I haven't even mentioned my burning patch. That is the kind of effort we appreciate here at Spark. Thank you. Now can you solve those algorithms? I thought you'd never ask. Can you hear the sizzling? Yeah, a little bit. Mm -hmm.